Hello everyone, my name is Erwin, also known as Kobuman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to talk about desktop support situation in which you are forced to rebuild a person's local profile. And there are a couple of reasons you would have to do this. First is if the profile is corrupted and you can obviously tell that there are some issues with it. And second reason would be if you move person's uh, domain login to another um, subset of the domain for example uh, let's say you have a regular user and now they are in a management position and they need to be placed in a different uh, part of the domain to grant them more permissions sometimes the old profile uh, which is created locally on their computer can hold on to the old domain settings and not allowing them to for example you know with the new permissions let's say the new manager has the ability to create icons or create files while the old uh, version of their profile did not have that permission in this case you would have to rebuild their local profile so let me show you what that is in case you're new to this so every time you log into a computer using domain login it creates a local profile on your behalf so um, let me just kind of show you where that is so if you go to your uh, c drive if you go to your root of c and go to the users folder which is right here so let's go to users as you can see here this is a local profile created uh, for me, it's called Koboman. So this is a um, the local profile for this, right? So if you go in here, you will see different uh, um, different folders that you typically find in a local profile. You know, like documents, um, desktop, favorites, and whatnot, right? But if you go um, a little bit further in, see now it's actually hidden. But there's a hidden folder in here, which by the way you can you can enable so you can see all the hidden folders. It's called App Data, right? So if you go into App Data folder. Um, you will see local, local, low, and roaming. Now, these folders house um, information and settings for different types of software. These type of different type of softwares can, um, you know, become corrupted and cause issues. So that's another reason why you would um, you would want to, uh, you know, rebuild their profile. And I'll show you that exactly, um, exactly how to do that. And it's very simple. But before I proceed, I do have to tell you because this is very important, especially if you get into desktop. Um, desktop support and uh, of course this is a real ex world experience that I'm telling you um, you have to make sure that user doesn't lose any information um, that they already have so if you go ahead and proceed to rebuild their local profile everything that they have in here their current corrupted in their corrupted profile for example is in here everything that they have in documents any icons on desktop uh, any favorites anything that's within here will be permanently deleted and it will be gone so if you proceed on the next step of rebuilding the this profile for this user you have to keep in mind that all of this stuff will be gone and you have to either back it up or have them or, or let them know clearly that as soon as you do this that all of their stuff will be gone unless they make a copy of it or or you back it up for them and then you can restore it later right it all depends on on your situation on on the place of business whether this is allowed or not but it, when it comes down to it this will be gone it will be deleted now we cannot simply go in here and just delete it okay this will corrupt the profile even further this will not remove it completely okay this is incredibly important now in windows xp you could do this you could just delete the folder and just be on your way but you you don't you cannot do this here it will just corrupt it and it will not work at all. It would just make things worse for you, okay? So you cannot do that. Now, to properly uh, remove this folder, or folder, if you will, it's their local profile that's created, you would have to go to your computer, right? You have to go to your computer settings. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's my icon. Um, you know what? Let me just go ahead and, and type it here. Computer, and you would go to properties of your computer, right? So let's go to properties here. And under properties, you would go to advanced system settings. And under, you know what, let me slow down a little bit here. So um, computer properties, advanced system settings, right? Advanced system settings. And then it's gonna be a middle tab. You don't have to worry about switching different tabs or anything like that. So, um, and it's kind of like, uh, it kind of works out when it comes to explanation. So it's default middle tab and it's default middle setting here, right? So it's under user profiles, as you can see here. These are user profiles and um, I'll, I'll be more than glad to go back here just to show you what that is again, just in case you're brand new to this, and I certainly don't mind because this is my style of explanation, um, is that these are local profiles, right? These are user profiles in here, right? 
these are user profile this is a user profile these are user profile this is a user profile right actually I take it back this is a public uh, profile for users that you can uh, basically insert things in so you can add it to their profiles this is a default profile if you put something in here every time some new profile is created um, it will draw from this and place the icons or, or the any files that you have in this in this folder right so in order to properly delete this user profile we would have to go to settings here and then you would see this profile that is created here as you can see here it says Kobuman, right so if we go in here and to delete this we would simply select it and select delete in my case it's uh, grayed out because um, it's the only local profile that is on here right so it's grayed out but typically um, you would log in as you under administrator privileges um, and then go to these settings and delete this after you delete this you would uh, simply restart the computer the uh, user would log back in it may take a while because it has to rebuild this it has to recreate this new profile within um, users folder it would create a new profile so it can take anywhere between you know 15 minutes to half an hour depending um, but it will take a while and you rebuild their profile and once it's back like this for example you will go back in and restore any data that they may have uh, that they may you know that they wanted to keep so um, that would that would pretty much do it and now they can start fresh with with a brand new profile and with the brand new domain settings that are attached to it and that should resolve majority of issues that are related to that okay guys thank you so much for watching um, please let me know if you have any questions related to this and I'll see you next time bye bye